tonight. Might not be as easy against uh, Lasset Malinga, who will open the bowling against Aaron Finch. He's played uh, 80 T20 matches, and uh, he's one of the form players uh, of the competition. Strike rate of just under 140. Coming in, I've done a lot of AFL games here, and this is starting to approach 40,000 people, I would have thought, which is remarkable for a game of Big Bash at Eddie Had Stadium as Malinga steams in for the first time to Aaron Finch. Just gets a little bit of pat on it. We might break the record if we get 40,000. The mid on though. No, that's not allowed. <laughs> Finch, that's exactly where he goes, right towards Nicole Livingston. A little bit short higher, but over the fence. And Finch takes full advantage of the free hit. Nicole is spared for a moment. That is the end of the first over. A good one for the Renegades, none for 13. As they would do if you're there for 10 or 15 minutes and birds uh, pounced on them. Down the leg side, leg buys, four very much needed runs for the Renegades. What does Aaron Finch do here, Ricky? Normally so positive at the top of the innings, but he needs to come keep an eye on the scoreboard. Three wickets down already. Yeah, I think it's really important for them now just to get some sort of partnership going. And he's going to take the responsibility for that, being the opening batsman and the, and the captain. And I'm pretty sure he'll sum the situation up that way. He's got a good player in with him at the moment as well, in Tom Cooper. So they need a partnership here, the Renegades, or... They're not going to get on a big move of his feet, Finch, and he does get caught up a little bit sometimes when he plants that foot on off stump. Just, Just there, that's perfect. Just there is about perfect, exactly. Oh, Finch sneaks a very, very sneaky run. Oh, what's Whitey doing? I'm sure, Cameron might have known in 2020 have cricket. Have he have to, surely, Junior. Finch will be the man that faces the hat trick ball. That is the end of. The third over, the Renegades, three for 20. Gets, uh, he's, this is where he's at his best. Finch goes oh, along beautiful the ground. Shot. Beautiful stroke. And that's a valuable boundary for the Renegades skipper. Yeah, Hodgie, there's a little bit more moisture in the surface tonight. Did that mean you guys are going to bat first if you won the toss or not? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't speak to Cam. Um, might, might pan out well for us. Finch pushes a quick single. Hurries through it and protects it with his body. Now, Hodgie, you must be happy with your... Yep. What are your thoughts on that field, Junior? Do you like that, that field being defensive to Finch right away? They look for two. I mean, they might get it too, no. James Faulkner out there does the, the fielding. The average score batting first here is. <laughs> Finch off the pads, calls two immediately. And they'll come back comfortably for that. Rick, there's a big event coming up that you're heavily involved in. Huge part of that. Finch again. Tightened up by Bird. You've raised an amazing amount of money, Rick, the foundation. A lot of people are involved in it. But the ball, a great opportunity to swing or seam. Hastings enters the attack. And straight down the ground by Finch. Didn't really time it, but a couple more. But the worry, Junior, for the Stars is Aaron Finch. Just his natural game will make him score quickly. Goes straight down the ground. Glorious cricket shot. Some beautiful fielding to cut it to a single. The second leading run scorer at Eddie had is Ben. Versailles Jackson Bird, isn't he? Finch advances. Chips it over the cover ring. Simon, the pitch, was it just a slightly more tacky than normal tonight? They've just been able to carve things down a little. Finch, the beautiful front arm, drives it down, comes back for a second. Well done Let's, by Cooper. They're, they're That's targeting Malinga. He's fielding, aren't they? But good Short of the length, uh, which is his normal stock length. But it's a world-class attack, the Melbourne Stars, yeah. as you go down it. Like Faulkner, Hastings, Malinga, Mackay, Bird. Around the hotel, <laughs> telling people that after the game. Just Do you ever no said that about Mark Taylor, Tubby? <laughs> Tubby Taylor. Uh... That's so how he had a bit of flair. Yeah, yeah, okay. the bunnies are in there, not to these two, no way. Finch goes through mid wicket. Now 30 deliveries since the boundary, so the Stars are doing a good job tightening it up. And Hodgie, you must have some. For sure. 
Yep. Maybe they need a few dinky off spinners. <laughs> well, Brad, you've certainly got my vote. Stands out, hasn't he? You never went for one of those, Gene? You might have had a similar colour at one stage, but you're more the mullet man, weren't you? Yeah. Yep. It's fought that sort of floating third slip up to try and stop that little push down there. Yeah, I'm surprised Finch didn't have... Look at their attack. Uh, Faulkner, Hastings, Malinga, Mackay, Bird. No real weak on there, is there? Finch again dabs it down to third man as we are joined once again by Nicole Livingston. Nick, you won. <laughs> Ten Australian backstroke. this time glorious shot just picks it up off his toes and he gets it away for four and the crowd now really starting to get behind the, the Mexican Renegades. wave has started great shot there from Aaron Finch it looked like his first option was to go over mid off but he takes on long on but because of his timing and the power he generates probably hit a 10 meters to the left, to the right of that fieldsman and big Johnny Hastings couldn't chase that down he's pretty Sorry, Flem, he's pretty wide there too. Finch, just a little late cut. Third man's up inside the circle, so just a single. 6-5 on 70. Finch, uh, way through mid-wicket. There's a man out there. And Hodgie, how have you seen the, the wicket here at Eddie Had? They're pretty low, a little bit too... Now it's brilliant. Finch goes the lap, doesn't get clean contact, but enough to open up and get a second. An amazing catch the other night by Jordan Silk. Hodgie, did you see that? Fantastic. Like a magnet that hand, isn't it, to the ball? Finch just pushes away for another single. Pretty good over. Ten off it, three for 104. It's getting really tight up top. Finch getting ready to go, gives himself room. Just holds himself back, backward of point. I think there's two in it, and neither does Finch. It's the two fours and one six for Finch, and he's 42 balls tonight, so Tommy Cooper's been terrific. Finch, the full toss out to mid wicket. Entertains the thought of two, but comes to one. It was a value there. He's a great bloke to have around a group as well, there's no doubt about that. Four men back on the leg side for Finch, and he just pushes that. Trying to get two as soon as he hit it. Neville has to go. That's good intelligent cricket. You can see it. Three for 17. And this time, Finch, Nicole, Nicole Livingston was out in the right area. And there is a glorious whip off the patch from Aaron Finch. And I saw, thought for a moment as he brings up his 50, and a wonderful 50 it was, that there could have been $390,000 on the line. I tell you what, Nicole wanted her too. She was running towards the ball. Unfortunately, Finchy hit it too well. But that's a beautiful shot. I think this is the sign that Finch is going to start going and taking him down. But oh. Nicole Livingston has almost got the opportunity to make a lot of money for the home viewer punter. I'll tell you what, with those type of shots for the last couple of overs, can take the, the rest for quite a few. <laughs> oh, that was a chance to the right hand of Malinga, he stuck out the paw. No, he's, uh, he's no silk in the field, that's it, Malinga. He has a bit of a laugh to himself. The only thing about dropping a catch of your own bowling is you've only got yourself to blame. You can't blame a teammate. And I don't think he'd come back that quickly. And, no, nah, no chance. Probably lack of pace, if anything, that did him there. I think he felt Finch probably hit that a little bit harder than he did and was coming back a little bit quicker, but... He's got deceived by lack of pace, if anything, I reckon. Yeah, the reverse follow-through. At an average of 131, striking at 140. That's steady, isn't it? T20 cricket, or any form of cricket. So, and he's up to the superstar now from Colac. And straight away, that could hit the roof! It is right up there! I think it has it hit has. the roof, and it's the ring is rule means it's six. Aaron Finch hits the roof at Eddie Hatt Stadium. Yeah, well, that's only the third time I've seen that happen, and Finchie's done it twice. Mike Hussey did it one year here. Finchie did it against the Hurricanes last year here, and it was halfway up that grandstand, Flem, when it hit that bar oh, coming yeah. out of the stand there. That one has gone miles and miles and miles up in the air. What sort of shot was that from Finch? Front foot push What do you shot. describe that? It actually looks like he's trying to hit yeah, that as high as he can, just try and hit it up as high as he can and hit the roof. Might do it again. Gives himself room. 
Dale will be looking to come back for the second. It's almost suicidal, and they decide not to go, and probably a good decision, although, gee, the roof... Eight ...off the last two overs. Mackay to Aaron Finch. Gives himself room over cover. That's why everyone wanted Finch on strike. Six. That is an unbelievable shot. I remember him hitting, hitting one very similar to that of Jackson Bird. I think it was first over of the first game where he goes back in his crease, gets on the back foot, but still has the ability to hit it high and hard over cover for six. I mean, that is an unbelievable shot for him. I reckon 80% of the sixes are over mid-wicket. There's only a few batsmen going around that can hit sixes over cover. Finch is one, David Hussey. We saw it with Hodge the other night against Scott Coyd as well. And he goes again, hits it hard. But they won't chase that one down. That's a, another boundary. So he's really got going in this over, Aaron Finch. Yeah, I'm backing that there'll be no singles off this <laughs> over, Clemo. I don't think he can afford to. I don't think the Renegade's can afford to. He's just going to stand there and try and pick out the bowling to a very much inform Aaron Finch. Finch once again goes out over cover. Once again puts it over the rope. Six more. Six, four. Six, Aaron Finch is lining up the 40,000 plus crowd at Etihad. I tell you what, he's absolutely belting him now. Mackay, again, that's his third length ball of the over. It was, yes, it was the slow ball, but he's dragged it down. I still think the Yorker is the percentage play in this over, but fantastic batting from Finch. The reason he goes to those, those Flem, though, is he knows he doesn't execute the Yorker well either. Oh, oh that's no. the biggest one yet! exactly what I'm talking about. Cranks the pace back up at 130, goes for the Yorker, misses a couple of feet short, and it disappears up into the upper deck. You could show a movie on that ball that's gone that high and that far. Great connection. Second tier, you wouldn't be thinking you're getting a catch tonight when you come to watch the Renegades back, but Finch, the captain, he's doing it again against the Melbourne Stars. They can't get him out. They can't curtail his hitting spree, particularly in these last overs. Clint Mackay, Excellent one-day bowler, T20 bowler, but at the death, he is getting smashed here. A 106 metre six, the biggest of the tournament to date. Changes to the other side of the wicket. Finch pushes out towards the gap. Brilliant fielding, absolutely brilliant fielding by Jackson Bird. Cuts it to two. Well, he hit the stumps. He's swinging his bat too hard for there to be any bugs hanging around him down there. Look at the setup. It's Shivnarai and Chanderpool. So you can see where Finch is targeting. Three sixes off the over. Full toss, pushes it out to mid wicket. And that is the end of the innings. A great over from Aaron Finch, provided 25 off it. And Finch finishes. At